Yeah, if you don't want to hear me ramble, just skip to that. Otherwise, enjoy the video. seen that video you guys must be disappointed in your president like i don't i i have no words the video literally shows president trump watching what is taking place at first you could just say he's watching what is taking place but you don't have any evidence well there is your evidence guys there is your evidence that your president does not give a shit about you like your your president just doesn't care bro like he doesn't i i'm being serious if your president cared he he would have definitely done something about it your president is literally watching what is unfolding and smiling and the lady in the video is dancing her ass off meanwhile while the whole breaking into capitol hill is playing in the background and then you got president, then you got the president's son, Trump Jr. You got him videoing. You got them drinking wine. You've got them eating. You got them eating under a tent. Like, they're watching what is unfolding. And you got all of them smiling. Like, is this what they wanted? Like, I'm disappointed. Listen, Trump has a fucked up track record. I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Trump's track record it, it, it's just messed up. I mean, for crying out loud, he conspired with put. For crying out loud, he conspired with Russia. He literally talked to Russia to try to get dirt on Hillary Clinton, and then what? And then he tried to do the same exact thing to Biden. He built the wall. He built the wall. He literally hid in his bunker during the whole Black Lives Matter movement. And thanks to him, multiple people in America have coronavirus. Uh, like, thanks to him, multiple people have coronavirus. Because he decided not to panic and take it seriously. Because he decided, you know, this shit's not serious. He decided, eh, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna let it pass by. And look what happened. Millions of people have coronavirus. Hundreds of thousands of people have died. But his worst crimes... His worst crimes are during the Black Lives Matter movement. Where instead of visiting the family of George Floyd. Or visiting the family of the deceased like he should. Biden, who wasn't even, even, was, who wasn't even president-elect at the time. Who wasn't even president at the time. Did his job for him. Like, that's just disappointing. As a president, you're supposed to visit the family. You didn't even contact the family. You didn't do shit. You, you didn't do anything. Like, that's just disappointing to me. The, a, fam a family lost their son, lost their, lost their dad, 
lost their husband, and you know, lost their uncle, you, you know what I mean. And he just didn't do anything, he didn't visit, he didn't do shit. And then, when this whole thing takes place, instead of Trump addressing the nation, like how Obama, or, or FDR, or anybody else would address the nation, he didn't, he just hid in his bunker, tweeting, like, what kind of, what kind of bullshit is that? But I'm pretty sure his worst crime for this year was what happened at Capitol, Capitol Hill. That has to be his worst crime. Where five people died. Like, where five people died and many were injured because of his bullshit. A police officer got beaten with a hydrant. And he got beaten with whatever else they could find there. One of police officers got his fucking lungs crushed and was bleeding out of his mouth because everybody was pressuring in. A woman jumped through the window and she got shot in her chest and died. And this could have all been avoided if Trump would just admit that he's a fucking loser and that he lost. They could have all been avoided right then and there. Everything would have been avoided. But no, it, it wasn't avoided and and it basically ended in tyranny, bro. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna say this. President Hoover wasn't really a good president. I mean, he literally much ignored the whole thing what was going on with Prohibition and let the country burn. He, he didn't do anything. Prohibition just continued. Crime ramped up. He didn't do anything. He wasn't a good president. But I'm gonna say President Hoover was a way better president than Trump ever was. That, that's that's what I got to say. He was a way better president. Because for one, President who Well, let's see. Back then, he didn't have TV. So at least President Hoover wasn't watching his country burn. Trump, now in the 21st century, we have TV. And now we, we basically watch the country burn. Like, the country just burn. That's basically what we... That's basically what happened. The country just burn. Like, it... It genuinely, it, the country basically shriveled up and died. That's that's all I have to say. That con, it, it shriveled up and died, bro. Like Trump basically watched the country burn. Saddest day in American history. And instead of Trump trying to address the nation, oh, he does address the nation, but in the worst way as possible. Instead of saying, "Yo, this is my fault. I fucked up. I'm sorry." Trump decides to contradict himself when addressing the nation, telling the people to go home, and then saying that the election was stolen from them. Like, I don't know, if that's not contradiction, I don't know what is, because you're telling the people to go home, meanwhile telling them that their efforts weren't in vain. That's basically what you're saying. Like, that's the worst thing you could do as a president. Like, you contradict yourself, bro. Like, no other president in history has ever done what he's done. Like, granted, you got some messed up presidents, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there were messed up presidents. But I don't think any were as bad as Trump. Like, I, I don't get it. Why? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? And the worst part about it, his supporters see what's going on, see, see everything, and see the destruction... But rather take responsibility, they decide, you know, I'm still gonna support Trump either way. Listen, everybody's got their opinions, but in this case, Trump's opinion really, Trump and his supporters' opinion, it just really doesn't matter. Because if your opinion ends up with the country burning, then it's not really a good opinion. In my, in my, in my all honesty, it's just not a good opinion. Like, that's just sad. The country basically just burned up. Like, it, it's sad, and I didn't expect to witness this. Like, the, this is definitely not the America I knew or went to but back then. It, it's not the America I knew because this, this is the first time since the, this is the first time someone's broken into the Capitol building in at least like what 140 odd years because 140 years ago they broke into the capitol building and you never heard of it again until now like i'm disappointed generally disappointed 
but yeah this is where i'm going to end the video you know because honestly it's it's disappointing it's sad what happened this should have never ever happened and just the fact that they're celebrating this like it's a holiday is what's really getting me upset like they're celebrating this like it's some holiday like they did something good but they didn't they really didn't yeah but this is where i'm gonna end the video so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video so peace out man